Yo, what is up guys? It's Maddie back at it again with another video for this week. And today I'm going to finish off the year with one of the videos I've been wanting to do for a really long time now, but I've been waiting until my collection grew enough where I could make a video about it is my record collection. Ah! <laughs> also, this past Christmas, I just got a new record player. I've been using my dad's record player this whole entire year. I started collecting records at the beginning of the year and I was kind of getting sick of going downstairs all the time to listen to a new record I got. Finally, I got one of my own that I put in my own room and I just love it so much. And ever since Christmas, I've been listening to albums like nonstop all day, every single day. This record player is totally dope. It is like the dopest thing on the face of the planet. It's all around a really good record player, a really good investment. Just like my parents, how they take their records seriously. I like to take my records seriously as well. But yeah, I'm gonna give you a tour of all the records that I have so far of 2020, my 2020 record collection, and the new record player that I got. So let's get started. All right, so this is the record box where I keep all the records. I actually made this in college, as many of you may know, I went to art school. Okay, so I don't own that many records. I only own 24, 25 if you want to count this tiny record. This is a 45, which means when you put it on the record, you have to play it at the 45 speed, so it would go a bit faster than bigger records. I don't really listen to it. I listen to it once. It's okay, but this actually came with the plastic covers that I bought for the records. Each record that I have, it has this plastic on it to help preserve the artwork of the record. Okay, so I'm not saying that everybody should get these plastic covers. So this is just a prime example of what happened to two of my records. Okay, so if you see this Lawlin record right here with this giant smudge right here, somehow it stuck together on the back of the Green Day record. I tried peeling them apart and it just damaged it, just like that. I don't know how the hell that happened. For whatever reason, these two were stuck together and <laughs> That's why I bought these plastic things so this wouldn't happen again. It really pissed me off because this is a limited edition Green Day record. Okay, let's speed through all these records. I know my parents' record video took like forever to make because they had over 100 records. Okay, so we got ACDC, Back in Black. We got a Day to Remember Homesick, a Day to Remember What Separates Me From You, Arcade Fire, The Suburbs, Back to the Future original soundtrack, Blink-182, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, Blink-182, Greatest Hits, Crown the Empire, The Resistance, Frank Sinatra's Greatest Hits, American Idiot, <laughs> Green Day, The La La Land original soundtrack, Leonard Skinner, it's pronounced Leonard Skinner, Miles Davis, Miles Davis, Miles Davis, Miles Davis, Nirvana, Nevermind, Periphery, Juggernaut, Alpha and Omega, Periphery, Three, select difficulty. <laughs> Periphery four, hail Stan. Rage Against the Machine, Evil Empire. The Soul original soundtrack. I have not seen the movie yet. I just bought this and it's a really good album. Stranger Things three, original soundtrack, or sorry, score. I keep mixing those up. And The Veil of Maya, False Idol album. Total 24 albums right here. All got the nice plastic on them. They look fresh as hell. I have a lot of Miles Davis because I love Miles Davis. I love jazz music. Everything about jazz, I love. I used to play trumpet, so that's probably why I love jazz, but it also helps with anxiety, calms me down. So if you need to listen to jazz, listen to Miles Davis. He's bomb ass. I'm gonna put in the Stranger Things record, mostly because I think it is probably the coolest looking record that I have. A lot of records have different colors or splat. This has splat on it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it on the record and have it play because I think it just looks really cool. All right, so here is the record player. Ah! If you wanna know the type, here it is. Bill Focus! There we go. Usually I like to prop up the record uh, cover itself right there next to it. It fits on this dresser. Yes, I finally moved into my sister's old room. So yeah, usually I keep this on here to protect everything, no dust or anything. So here is the on off switch. You just turn it on just like that and then this light will come on so you can see where to place the needle. 100%. Shh, shh, no, I don't want you playing. Copyright. The hardest part about setting this up was balancing the needle 
took a few tries but got it you want to make sure you balance it right that way you don't damage the record itself so we're just gonna press start and it's gonna start spinning and then make sure this lever is up and you can place the needle right above the record You're just gonna press this lever down and it'll go down there we go and you usually wait for a few seconds and it'll start playing but I turned off the speaker uh, due to copyright so yeah it would start playing music right now um, my parents got me this cool Bose speaker it actually sounds really good and high quality and nice and this is a Bluetooth record player so this I can bring this all the way downstairs and won't have any problem with it disconnecting the last thing I want to show you guys is what it looks like in the dark so we're gonna turn off the light right here this looks pretty awesome in this type of lighting like ooh, yeah this is so cool right yeah it's so cool So yeah, in order to stop it, you press this, uh, push this lever up, do it slowly, don't do it too harsh. And then you're going to want to drag the needle back into its thing and then lock it so it doesn't go flying around. And then you can just simply press stop and turn it off. I just want to show you one last thing is that the most listened to albums that I play on here, but also just in the past on Spotify or whatever, is that I listen to mostly Blink-182, Leonard Skinner, this Miles Davis. So yeah, that's pretty much my video for this week. Hope you guys loved it. Smash that like button. If you love records, smash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Yeah, this is pretty much my last video of 2020, which is totally crazy year, weird year. Nothing to say, but you know, we'll just see how 2021 goes. I really have no words to say because this year i just wanted to be done and over with you know but yeah that's pretty much it uh i hope you guys have a happy new year and i'll see you in 2021 <laughs> this is two so you can... cool okay bye <laughs>